What's up everyone? Chillstorm here for another Black Desert Mobile Chill Gaming and today we will talk about the 6.9 update and changes. So without further ado, let's start. So first up, they have added a ranking system for the Romanus Arena. So that's ranking and season system, which is really, really cool. So for the, so basically it's a win or lose uh, based. So ba you win, you get points, you lose, you rank down. Simple as that. And the rank is based, um, so basically for ranking, um, it's based on the points that you have. Uh, so right now we have, for the server, we have Lone Wolf, um, sorry, for all for Asia region, we have Lone Wolf Farm being number one with 90,885 Ramonis points. Wow. Um, and for our server, we have Remil of Protectors, 65,625. What? You, you doing nothing but Ramonis all day? What's what's up with this? And for... Oh, I am actually top one in our in our server. I, I'm sorry, in my friend guild um, uh, for, for Ramonis having 9,102. Um, so basically, you win, you gain the you gain the points, you lose, you rank down, and then as you of course collect all your points, um, you have your season reward. Um, if you are number one in all servers, um, let's say for for the whole region, which is my region is Asia, you get two thousand black pearls, and then number two is eighteen hundred, number three is sixteen hundred, top eight is fourteen hundred, top fifty is thirteen hundred. Top um, 100 is 1,200, and then top 1%, and so on and so forth, up until top 100%. So if you are top 100%, that means everyone, right? So basically, everyone gets 100 black pearls um, if you are part of the, you know, below below 20% of the population. You, so you still get some, regardless. So don't worry, but of course, it's better if you work all uh, your way up to the top um, let, let me check mine. Um, Ramona's ranking. I am all servers 392. So that stinks. Yes, but I don't know what percentage I am. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know the, the percentage I am in. I have no idea. Maybe we, we can check it under info. Uh, let's see if it's there. Uh, arena rank. No, it doesn't have the... It doesn't have the Romanus, so I have no idea whatsoever what percentage I am right now. So I don't know. I have no clue, but we'll see. Hopefully, they added something like that. Like it tells you what percent percentage you are, so that you know when to push harder, when not to anymore. I don't know. But anyway, so uh, one of the most exciting features um, that was added the. Uh, ranking system in the season reward system for Romanus Arena. So do more for Romanus. Do it with your guildmates. Do it with people that you know, people that you ha are comfortable in terms of gameplay, so that um, you know you uh, increase your rank easily. Right. Next up, we have uh, let's 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 go to the camp for this one. So with Merchantry, they added the camp relocation feature. So all you have to do is go to your town hall. And then you will have you will see there move your camp, so you can move your camp from Balenos to to anywhere. So if you go to let's say um, let's say I can assign to Balenos, I can go to let's say neutral border zone, um, I can go to Serendia for that. So um, let's see, select all. What what does that mean? Um, how can I start relocation? You don't have enough required workers. Oh okay. So basically, um, in order for you to relocate. You will need to have um, five workers, and it will take them two days to do it, um, using six thousand food and one million silver. And plus, it will require you to spend a uh, cotton, a log, and uh, I believe this iron ore, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, I think um, if if you would give it a choice uh, to relocate, I would have to say the best would be neutral border zone. Because basically that's the middle of the whole merchant tree map. Um, next up would be the a good one would be Calpheon, um, because Calpheon North um, would have access to the Calpheon the Southeast, to Neutral Border Zone, to Calpheon Southwest. Um, also one good, uh, also good is Serendia, because um, whenever you pass by 
uh, surrender, you, you we would have to go to Belenos, and it's also you know um, a pathway to neutral border zone. Uh, those are the good ones. Belenos is not a good um, map. Definitely not Calfion Southeast and Cal Calfion Southwest. Basically, those are dead end um, dead end areas. So yeah, um, if you would have to choose, just Calfion North. Neutral border zone and Serendia. Okay, next um, they have um, added new wagons. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I like uh, the new wagon. Um, first off, the increase on the LT uh, for each wagon, one thousand now from five hundred of for the freight wagon, and then for the white wagon from eight hundred to fifteen hundred. LT. Wow. And then, of course, we have here, crafting now, um, the farm wagon giving you 2,000 LT. So, um, it's, it's a good thing because you can now bring stuff with you. So, um, on the start point, um, you'll be able to buy all of their um, tradable goods and even some specialty items. And at the same time, um, you can bring some for your own. And also, um, they have added what they call the a cross um, merchants crow merchants elixir so it, it gives you move speed um, and immediately finish events and automatically start events when nearby um, and it's a 20 second benefit so it is nice I'm gonna have to give it a try but uh, we're not gonna do merchantry in the meantime because I have my farm wagon under crafting right now uh, I might do it tonight and then I would um, stream tomorrow um, with this uh, new features and also the new relocation. Um, next up, um, connected to Merchant Tree, we have the horse update to tier number 7. So we got some tier 7s over here. Um, and I'll also uh, stream um, what are the you know, best um, you know, combinations for a tier, a tier 7 horse. So they have added um, the, the new bond buffs. Um, so for tier 7, they have the grants plus 25 AP and plus 10 DP for 30 minutes um, and then uh, also they have increased um, all the other existing tiers like there's also there's already a plus 30 attack for 30 minutes plus 30 defense uh, 4.5 on crit um, plus 400 on max HP and 2.5% on magic region all for for 30 minutes of course you get to increase it if you have the camp plus so um yeah and uh, on, on on a different day um i'll show you wh what are the skills of my horses plus um you know how many horses you should keep and, and so on and so forth okay they have also added something about a path to power so uh that would be under let's see i believe it's log i oh, know um let's see i should have i should have gotten this first um let's see is it knowledge challenge no where is it is it collection is it task no it's not collection um path to power where where could you be path to power uh, is it story no well we'll get to that we'll get to that later on um they have uh, um, added path to power because uh, for 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 mine what i did was um i just simply clicked on it i think i already finished the path to power um, uh, selective quest so it's basically to obtain inventory weight increase items um, and other other things that they have updated would be the the boss rush um, they have uh, changed to allow adventurers to view rewards from all stages in boss rush so um, so basically you'll be able to see all the rewards available so if you go to rewards list you can actually scroll all the way down so that you'll see all the rewards that you can obtain um all the way to uh the stage 99 or something there you go so all the way through you you will know which uh rewards you'll be getting so that you'll be more excited to do more boss rush okay um another update that they have would be uh the void knight itself um so many things that were um upgraded and it's all an upgrade on the void knight um, so evasion skill and the evade action um, has, has been improved and also the distance as well. So this is the evade. So you see that it's a, a, longer, um, a longer back roll. And then um, at the same time, the, the dash, it's, you, can see, you can see that the distance is different. So if you are a Void Knight user, you would know the difference. Um, there's kind of like an increase there. 
Next, um, they also changed Nightfall. So the, um, I'm gonna show you the, the skill itself. So the Nightfall um, skill, as you can see, it's not an, anymore the elbow. It's all already using the, the sword itself. Um, so they have changed the on-screen effect. And not only that, they have changed from one target to five. So it is now AOE, so you can actually uh, put uh, days on on a um, maximum of five um, targets, and also they have increased. Uh, I'm sorry, they have increased uh, the damage itself, both for PVE and PVP. Another thing would be the new one. It's called Dark Mist. Before it was Shadow Flare. A Shadow Flare is like um, I think adding stun. Um, like the Void Knight just raises her hand and um, shoots out like uh, a, a little ball and then when that ball hits then it will uh, provide a stun but this time um, it's now called the Dark Mist so it's really it's totally changed so um, basically the Dark uh, the dark Knight or the Void Knight transforms into a mist increasing movement speed grants invinci invisibility and also super armor when using the skill um, so very useful in, in terms of let's say uh, PvP and also um, Ramones and even Node Wars or Siege Wars. Um, it doesn't give, um, and it says here that you can maintain the Dark Mist face by pressing the button as long as you want, but it's not really the case. Uh, let me just show you in, uh, let me just show you instead um, in game. So what happened is that um, when you use the dark mist, um, it's kind of, it, it has it has a little bit of time. So this is how it looks like. You become a mist, you can press it as long as you want, but it kind of like stops in the middle once the once the mist is over. Um, it, give it like um, around four to five seconds, maybe maybe three to four seconds of dark mist. So it's not really good for uh, you know scouting um, because it doesn't last that long. But it's good for let's say evading, um, you know, a group of a group of attackers. So very useful in Romanus, very useful in Node and Siege Wars. But uh, for let's say farming and all that, uh, maybe not. Um, also good for boss rush sometimes if you are instead of you know just running around um, getting the hit. Okay, next up, uh, there's also a change on Eclipse. The the casting speed um, has been uh, uh, shortly increased. And the visual effect has been modified, so um, it's, it's better to see it this way. Um, so before it w it used to be a semicircle um, casting uh, the the effect itself. Now it looks like a wide full circle. So there. And then now the legacy of Vidir, um, it's also changed. Um, they have uh, the the cooldown time has been decreased from nine seconds to eight seconds, and the range and the speed of the cast has been shortly increased. And also the effect, uh, visual effect has been modified according to the increased range. So um, if you cast that here, you will see um, that it's, it's a bigger circle right now, um, which is very useful because there are times where in, if you try to cast the Legacy of Vidir, um, the, the opponents are too far away. So, you know, an increase in range, increase in casting time, it's, it's really nice. Um, next up is the Fury of Camasylvia. So the Fury is like this. So it's just like an, an uppercut um, using the sword. So it's an uh, it's upper swing. So the speed of the cast has been shortly increased and the damage for both PvP and, PvP, uh, PvP and PvE has been increased as well. So it's all for, for all Void Knight users just like me, it's all nothing but good news. So uh, better, better chances for us in, in terms of winning um, uh, in all aspects. And next up, of course, we will talk about the um, events. So we have the, let's just start, start off with the easy one. So we have the Merchant Tree Update event. Um, as you can see here, um, there's the Merchant Tree Daily Mission. So all you have to do is uh, complete all these five down below and then eventually you'll get this uh, six um, lovely rewards as well. So tier five horse and we got some invent certificates. You got the special Ritz uh, Kaya Goose and of course 300 black pearls, 800 restoration scrolls and 10 grand black stone sacks. 
so that is just rewarding and next up we have the hammer of events um there you go so for the hammer you can claim three hammers each day and those are free hammers and then you can use the hammer fortune um, or you can also use the 30 black pearls if you are lacking on hammers for the day and um, you can use 210 black pearls as well um, if you want to push a whole block so you just have to turn it on and then use 210 done um, it, it takes out a full single uh, row and then once you have obtained um, the best possible reward uh, you can use 200 black pearls to continue playing on the same board if not you can refresh and you're allowed three refreshes a, a day um, so yeah um, very re rewarding especially the final one um, this is kind of like my favorite right now advice of bouts 50% 10 pieces Wow check that out next um, for uh, the event so they also have an event for Shakatu so they have um, the Shakatu exchange exchange coupon event so all you have to do is do six Shakatu and then you have the chance to get the special uh, Shakatu coupon um, or should I say a special Shakato exchange coupon so you can exchange it for mystical accessories Wow um, light stone chest um, crystal chest um, Wow all these are good but the best one mystical accessory chest the best um, so that requires 50 uh, exchange coupons next let's talk about the the uh, um, pearl shop so for the pearl shop um these are the changes so we have um you can already see in your screen you have your valks um challenge chest one two three and four so for the one and three uh gives you advice advice of valks uh, 10 percent and then for the for the one um you get the refined crystal black crystal weapon and then armor for for Valk chest number three for the two and four it's the 50% advice of Valks so one piece of that um, and then for the two you get the weapon for the four you get the armor and all of these Valks uh, challenge chest they all give 200 restoration scrolls now what I can say with the Valks challenge chest it is okay but not that great because it is quite expensive um, let's say 50% Valks, um, advice of Valks for 400 black pros. And this is actually what we're really after. Um, that's the, uh, the most enticing part about it. But I have to say it's a, really, a, a little bit too expensive um, because if you try to check it out, um, let's go back to the events. If you try to check it out, in, if you go to for the Hammer of Fortune event, I can actually get 10 with, with a stroke of luck. I can, that, I can get 10 pieces of the 50% advice of Valks. And um, with a stroke of you know super duper luck, um, it will only require me to spend, um, uh, let's see, 150 black pearls. And not only do I get the the Valk the advice of Valk itself, I also get refined um, crystals, um, black stones. Um, uh, you have the light stone fragments. You have the magical residue. So you're not at a loss. So for me, my personal opinion, I'd rather spend. Um, my black pearls on this event rather than on the Valk's chest all right but it's of course it's really up to you if you really um, you know uh, your mouth is watering with the Valk's challenge chest go ahead and do so um, buy them um, other things that are important uh, with the new updates we have the the pearls and things um, so we have here I think I think I've already bought it yeah so on the right most I've already purchased everything. Uh, I think you can buy five weekly. Um, pearls plus camp resources chest. So you get 400, black, 400 white pearls, 100 black pearls, and then 5,000 of each of the resources. And the reason actually that I bought this is because um, I've been spending so much of my resources on the Merchant Tree Exchange. So I didn't have much, um, I didn't have much resources when the farm wagon came out. And I, I needed that badly for today, um, so I, I bought five of these right away, um, and and I I crafted the farm wagon as soon as I can um, because I really wanted to to up my merchantry because it's so beneficial to me. So um, 
yeah, I would have to say it's a very, very good deal. Um, another one that they added on the uh, Pearl Shop would be, since they had the, you know, the Tier 7 horses, they also added the barding for the horse. It's called the Trina Knight. Um, so it, it looks it looks good. Um, I'd have to say very gold-ish red. So, and yeah, it, it looks really cool, I have to say. Um, it kind of looks like uh, the Carlstein and the Lar RCN combined somehow, and even the Cavaro. And it looks like this, the, the Trina Knight. Yeah, so it's 600 white pearls. If you want to dress up your new tier 7 horse, why not go ahead and do so? So uh, basically, that's it for all the uh, important updates for the 6 9. Um, and to, um, on my next stream, uh, we will do merchantry. We'll check out the uh, brand new Crow Merchants Elixir, the new merchantry settings. And also, we'll try out the new farm wagon. And I'll also give you tips on how to uh, ride with it um, with the new farm wagon. And also, um, we will check on uh, relocating our uh, camp. Um, I would have to say maybe I'll go for North neutral border zone for this time because I always pass by there uh, whenever I run from Calfion to uh, Ser Serbendia and back. So anyway, that's it for me. Again, this is Chillstorm for your Black Desert Mobile Gaming. Like and subscribe for more videos. And for this time, I am going to peace out.